school of students, in this video we'll consider ruled surfaces. So we say that a surface is ruled if it is the union of straight lines. Okay. Of course, the classic examples of ruled surfaces are like cones and cylinders, right? So let's formalize what this means. So if I have a whole bunch of lines, like this, those are my rulings. And what I'm going to do to parameterize this ruled surface, so I have all these straight lines that are united, is I'm going to draw an auxiliary curve that goes through these rulings like that. I'm going to call this curve over here gamma of u. So that curve is going to be gamma of u. That's my curve. And then for any particular point on this surface over here, if I, fi if I fix a point on the surface over here, let's call this point over here q, there is a corresponding point p that's on that, uh, that this curve over here. So I can parameterize this, sigma u and v, is I'm at the point gamma of u, gamma of u, and then I move a certain displacement, so a certain direction over here. So at this point over here, there's a particular direction. I'm going to call that direction D of U for that particular point. That's my direction of the lines. So you can use the direction of the line. So I move by V units in the direction of the line over there, right? Here D U is the direction of the line, is the direction of the ruling. That goes through. gamma of u. Okay, right? And so what are some examples? Like we said, a cylinder is an example, right? So for a cylinder, for a cylinder, all the directions are the same. Okay. And so in particular, it says that if I look at this parameterization, sigma of uv, which is gamma of u, that curve, plus v. And then there's a direction of all these of these lines, right? So I'm going to call that vector a hat like that. That parameterizes what a cylinder is. Excellent. And of course, that gamma is called the generator. So gamma here is called the generator. It doesn't have to be a circle, right? So when it's a circle, that's our classic example. But it could be some sort of, sort, some sort of strange shape like this, right? And then you're going all along these lines down over here. You get the same exact shape over down over here. Like that. And that's our surface. That's a generalized cylinder. So these are generalized cylinders. Okay. Excellent. And so what's our classic example of this? Our classic example is when the gamma is a circle, right? So in our typical example, so an example of this surface over here would be um, if I look at sigma of u and v, which is going to be cosine u, cosine, then sine u sine u zero that's the unit circle in the xy plane and i just add on v of zero zero one that gives us our standard parameterization cosine of what cosine of u then sine of u then v that gives us our standard cylinder okay we can also have cones what characterizes a cone so what characterizes cones those are also there's some curve over here let's call that gamma of u and cones are characterized as going through what? Going through a apex, right? So there's a whole bunch of straight lines. All these straight lines go through an apex. Like that. Let's call that vector apex A. That's the apex. And so for this generalized cone, what are we going to get? We're going to get sigma of u and v is going to be what? Well, I start on this curve gamma, so I'm going to start on the curve gamma over here, gamma of u, and then I'm displacing it by what? I'm displacing it by this vector direction. That's going to be a plus v, and then gamma of u minus a. So gamma of u minus a. That's, of course, that direction, right? So the direction of these lines are what? I go from gamma of u to a, right? Direction of the line. If we simplify this, what we get 
If we simplify this, we get that this is equal to what? This is equal to a uh, one plus v, one plus v gamma of u, and then minus a, minus a, and then v, like this, okay? And so how, we can also reparameterize this in any number of ways we want, right? But what's the example with the, with the standard cone, right? The standard cone looks like this, right? Where they have a circle, right? That's our standard cone. Let me parameterize this thing over here. Well, what is going to be is the following. If the standard parameterization of a cone, sigma uv, for a circular cone, is going to be what? I'm going to reparameter it to turn to a v. So we have a, we have a v cosine u, v sine u, and then a v like this. So now x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared, right? So that's the cone. Z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. That's the standard calc three cone. So these ruled surfaces come up, come up quite a good deal because they have a very sort of nice structure in terms of their parameterization, right? It allows us to get to their first fundamental form in a very, very easy way by just in terms of parameter, the parameterized curves, right? And so we're gonna see that for these, co these cones over here, at this point, at this apex point, there's gonna be singularity in the first fundamental form. And so we have to be exercise caution because now that violates the assumption that the rank of the Jacobi matrix is two. So we have to pay great attention to this sort of this conical point, this apex point, because it's going to cause us a little bit of problems when it comes to computing the first fundamental form and when the first fundamental form turns out to be generated at this apex point. Thank you very much.